What is up, everybody? It's Kendall or RB for Grenade, whatever you want to call me, it's fun. And uh, I have a gameplay. It's actually COD 4, if you want to know. If you haven't already recognized it. And uh, just to let you guys all know, if you haven't been updated with all my, you know, uploads, I have not uploaded in a long time. And uh, there's two reasons for that. One, I didn't want to, and two, I didn't have time to. I didn't really want to, mostly because I don't know. I wasn't really getting too many views, and I just felt. I, I don't have the time for it, you know, and I, don't, I didn't have any initiative, you know, if you get more views, you kind of get more initiative, and I just didn't have many views, so I was kind of thinking, I don't really want to do this, but now that I think about it, I did spend uh, $200 on a recording device, and I should be using it, so I'm going to be using it more often, and uh, so that's that, anyways, this gameplay, I cut a lot of it because most of it, some of it was me dying, and uh, that's pretty unentertaining to watch. But, um, yeah, so if you see a lot of it's cut, so it's going to look kind of weird. But uh, just, just a heads up for you guys. And uh, the map is Downpour. I'm using the M16 Red Tiger, Red Dot Sight, uh, Perks. I think it's Bandolier, uh, Stopping Power, and either Dead Silence or Steady Aim. And uh, for the whole game, we basically have them in sort of a trap between... We have A and B, and they, they're in the C. So... They're gonna keep on spawning there because this is the time back in COD 4 they didn't really have really two advanced spawn systems where if you had A and B they'd always spawn at C no matter what even if you push really really far in they kind of still spawn at C so you're, they're always in a kind of spawn trap but uh, in the new Call of Duties it's kind of like oh if you push too far they're gonna start spawning around A so they can cap A and start all over kind of thing and I kind of like this more because you get a lot more kills and um, it's just more fun in general. And my secondary, if you want to know, is the Gold Desert Eagle. And, uh, yes, I have Red Tiger for every single gun. I got into one of those lobbies, if you want to know. So all my Call of Duty 4 gameplays, I'll be using the Red Tiger as uh, the camos. But, uh, anyways, uh, what I want to talk kind of about was um, how I've been enjoying Call of Duty 4 a lot. And uh, this is kind of a really misjudged game, and uh, it does have a lot of flaws. I'll get to that. But uh, people think it's so hacked, and I'll tell you this, you can get into about 50 games, 15 are hacked, and about 5 are legitimately hacked, like wall hacks, uh, super jump hacks, weapon hacks, ammo hacks, that's only 5, and the other 10 are just crap, crap writing on the screen. And this, I got into a lucky lobby, well not really lucky, but usually a lot of them have writing on the screen, this one didn't, so... Yes, anyways, and but now talk about the flaws about this game. Everyone snipes, and that really annoys me. Everyone uses the M40A3, and it just it's so easy to use with steady aim that it's a one shot, one kill. And uh, there, you, there you go again, they just got me with the sniper. And um, it's just it's annoying, you know, nobody uses assault rifles, so I kind of like to switch it up and challenge that and use uh, assault rifles. But everyone just is in their ghillie suits sniping. And it's just unfair, you know? I wish that more people would actually use assault rifles or submachine guns, but it, everyone wants their clips, you know? Everyone wants those bounce shots, 360 no-scope headshots for the YouTube, but I'm, I don't like that. I'm into more of a commentary style, and uh, I like to use assault rifles to get good gameplays. And another thing is, I go, what, 53 and 20? You can't get a really good game in this game, mostly because... The kill streaks just aren't there. I mean, yeah, the helicopter support's good, but it's gonna get you max maybe five or six kills, and um, you know, it's just you're not gonna get those 105 to two games or 95 to three. You're gonna get scores like around 60 to 13 or 50 to 12, or in my case, 50 to 20, which I thought was good. You know, it's hard to do good in this game, but um, yeah, I thought this game would be entertaining enough to post, so. Here it is, and uh, I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad I'm into the commentary cycle again, and I'm glad I'm back in the community, I guess. And uh, I don't know if there's going to be people that have actually wanted to see content from me, or, you know, I'm not big at all, but uh, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to grow in the, the YouTube community. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. So, uh, hmm, what am I going to talk about now? Ooh, another stupid death by a sniper, whatever, doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to talk about the guns in this game. Uh, in future gameplays, I'm probably going to try using the G36, which is almost identical. Oh, wait, wait, ooh, nice drop shot there by me, or oh, whatever. 
doesn't matter. But anyways, the G36 is pretty much identical in this game to the one in Mothra 3. Uh, pretty much the same kind of weapon specs, same damage, same sights, same kind of sound, but... Yeah, so I'll probably be using the G36 too, and uh, I like the G36 as well as the M16, and did you know the M16 is the best gun ever? Oh, there's a three-piece. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting my, uh, my facts, but there was a nice three-piece. Uh, but anyways, the M16 is the best gun ever in Call of Duty, by voted by a lot of people. And the M16 in COD 4 is the best at all. I mean, think about it. It's, it's like a shotgun, you know? You can no-scope with it, use that as a shotgun, or you can kind of snipe with it. It's really, really good. But uh, I wouldn't classify it as overpowered. Overpowered is like the FAMAS Black Ops, the um, UMP in Mara for 2, the Type 95 in Mara for 3. The, there was no really overpowered guns in this game. Maybe the M16 is a tad, but I wouldn't call it overpowered. I call it good, you know? Like, it's not unfair. You're not at an advantage when you're using this gun. If you can use it right, then I guess you are at an advantage, but if you don't really know what you're doing with burst fire weapons, then it's not too good. But, uh, anyways. Uh, I heard some people said that the next Marfa 3... Mar no. Black Ops 2 <laughs> game is gonna come out with an M16 that's automatic, but that's probably just a lie. But anyways. It's been great. It's been fun commentating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, commentary is winding down. So make sure you subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, enjoy future Call of Duty 4 gameplays, maybe. Or even some Black Ops, Modern for 3, maybe even World at War. Actually, no, I don't have that game. It sucks. So, anyways, see you guys later. Bye.